Welcome to Fort Worth Tech, home of the TCU Horned Frogs. What a showdown we have in store. A couple of Big 12 teams squaring off in what could prove to be a huge game. As we'll see, the Kansas Jayhawks taking on the 23rd ranked team in the land, the TCU Horned Frogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. He'll bring it out. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. So the Kansas Jayhawks offense takes the field for the first time today. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. This offense already in the black zone, a little bit backed up. How do they want to respond? They come out to throw the football, be aggressive. And this defense was ready, and they got pressure on the quarterback and got a sack on the very first snap. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going, handing the ball. Setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there. Still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks. And you come up and rally and everybody flying by this defense. Swift through the line. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. So the TCU Horn Frogs offense will try to get something started with their first possession. You know, yards figure to be hard to come by through the air, but some quarterbacks, Jesse, just love to go at the start corner. Yeah, and this guy's got confidence. He's not afraid to go at anybody, but he better be careful because this cornerback is one of the best in the nation. One of the best, no doubt. And I think they will trust him on defense to make plays. So you got to make a decision. Is my guy good enough to beat him on the outside? I am fascinated by this matchup. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. Looking downfield, it's Hoover. Feeling so Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. On fourth down, trying to find his man. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Pulls it in, it's Baker. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. And the Horned Frogs come to the line with a new set of downs. Here's the handoff. Runs through a tackle. They make the stop inside the 25, working closer to that red zone. A gain of six. Line of scrimmage will be the 24. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Pressure coming. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. 
On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. On fourth down, looking to pass. Deep shot for the end zone. Oh, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the teeth of double coverage. A veteran in this defense stayed locked in on his rules and made the interception. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. To the air on first down. Makes the grab outside. It's Morales. And the Jayhawks want to move quickly. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get in the same page. You can tell they were, and that's why they got the first game. This offense really needs to get something going. Hunt on the opening drive, and now a third and ten coming up. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And he makes the catch inside the 20. Touchdown, Rock Chunk Jayhawk. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Well, the quarterback does a great job with his decision-making. He found the matchup he wanted one-on-one. -on -one. His tight end's able to stretch the field. He makes the catch, and he does the rest of the work himself, running it into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Firing to the right, complete. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. That completion delivers a first down. He wants to throw. Fires to the wide out. Into double coverage, and they made it pay. It's intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Excellent field position here for the offense. On the run, it's Stewart. Can't get him to the ground. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. To the ground with the back. Tackled after picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. DBs locked up tight on the receivers. Coming out on first down with the play fade. And his throw is incomplete. All right, that's a good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. Off play action. Looking to the big tight end. And this senior quarterback knows he had a chance that time and just put a little too much on it. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. From the gun, wants to pass. And that pass intercepted. He'll go down right there, but what a big play to come up with that turnover. The offense set for a first down play. From the gun, the give, looking for room. And they give him enough for the first down. They'll move the chains, and let's see if they can snap it one more time here in the first. That's the end of the quarter. Kansas has the lead here. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. Quarterback checking off. 
back to throw. It's Hoover. Quarterback now breaking the field. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. From the gun, running back on the move. He'll push his way out to the 38, pick up a three. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Oh, did he toast the coverage? Got it deep downfield. Nothing but green grass down the middle. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. How about that one? Fourth and forever, and he just turned one loose and fired it for the first down. Man, does that sting. Defensively, you get him in the perfect situation. You know they're going to pass the football. You play the ball deep, and you give up a deep pass. That is a back-breaking play. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. They give him the rock again on second and goal. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. You just simply can't say enough about this guy and what he's meant to this offense. Big-time players make big plays in big games. He has shown up each and every week. That's his 15th rushing score on the season. Here he comes out of the end zone. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. He'll start this drive firing. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out route. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He's looking to throw it. And that one's incomplete. Let's see what they've got on second down. It's a draw. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. The Jayhawks want to crank the tempo. He'll try to pop the draw. Collisions and power on display, and after all of that, just back to the line of scrimmage. And here comes the punt to kick it away. Wants to return it. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. Running back goes in motion. A jet sweep pass. Pass to 45. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Only ways can I get it to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers. 
and let them make big plays. This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, get it to a burner, go in full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big play. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They'll go right back to him. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Pass rush, gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. Unleashes one deep. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries to force him into a field goal try. Quarterback will audible. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. He got it! And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. The Horn Frogs trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score! Touchdown, Horn Frog! And that's exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. They got the late touchdown on the board. Now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Kansas offense returns to the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down this... offense that they can prove like we're here we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive this is a great opportunity to show that and the pressure gets him back at the eight yard line the defense going to stop the clock with a timeout they want to make sure they have everybody on the same page let's see if they can get out of their own way on second and long from the eight he's looking to throw he lost one down the sideline. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back up inside their 20. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. He'll haul it in right around the logo. Touchdown, TCU! How about the special teams coming up with a huge play? That return.
return man saw daylight the instant the ball touched his hands. And One of the hardest things to do in football to catch the ball is all these guys are flying around you, and you got to take it, make a miss, try to find spaces and creases that aren't there. Great job making a huge play. Special teams and punt returns coming up big. You get that touchdown right before the half. Build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. From inside the 15, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. Going up top on first down. Looking deep down the right side. It's incomplete, and they tried to get one on the board before the break and couldn't quite make the connection. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a first-rate game so far today in Fort Worth. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Amon G. Carter Stadium. Thanks for that breakdown, Kevin. We're ready to get it started here in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. TCU has it back in the Horn Frogs go on offense. As they get ready to start this third quarter, think how big the lead might be if they'd taken care of the ball. Well, the game might be over, Reese, but if you're on defense right now, you've gotten a couple turnovers early, and you're saying, okay, we're going to need to keep this up. we got to stay aggressive for us to have a chance to win this game, but we believe we can do it. Yeah, you, you've already done it, so of course you're going to believe it. Keep playing fast, keep playing physical, and then tell your offense, hey, we need a little help over here. <laughs> can you help us out and put some points on the board? Breaks the tackle. Gets it across the 30 to the 31, a pickup of five. I think tackling was about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. you got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. Here on third down. They're looking to get the edge with this one on the toss. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. I'll say, watching this offense this year, one of the things you have to be really happy about is their ability to move the sticks. This is one of the top 25 offenses in the country in getting first downs. That running back is one of the biggest reasons. He is a weapon. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. On the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, when you're handing off to your fullback, oftentimes these guys need some space to work so they can build up ahead of steam and get the speed going, but that guy didn't have anywhere to go on that one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Got a man. It's James. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. On the option, the pitch. At the 35, he's got goal. And a big play there on the option. The pitch was executed perfectly. And the Horned Frogs have their offense in high gear.
Looking for a gap. It's Payne. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Back to pass. It's Hoover. Lines is back in the middle. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. The Horn Frogs line it up with a first and goal. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And the spin move was sweet and athletic, but not necessarily that productive. They keep pushing forward. Now back to work on second and goal from the six. He's looking to throw. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. After a drive this long, a field goal would be demoralizing at this point. It's third and goal. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. They'll try to pass it in on third and goal. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. What a disappointment. No good. Missed the field goal. Missed the chance to make it a three-possession game, but still a 14-point lead, guys. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. The run from the shotgun. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. And the Jayhawks racing to the line in the hurry up. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. On third down, going up top. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. The Jayhawks will punt it away on fourth down. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. So from the shadow of his goalpost, he gets the punt away. He gets a block. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went with the running game on first down. Now back at it. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He's looking deep. Pulls it in inside the 10. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the 7. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. Dropping back, it's Hoover. It's complete. There to make the stop, and we play three in this one. That's the end of the quarter, and TCU has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. They'll try to open this quarter by sticking it in the end zone here. They'll try to pound their way in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Horn Frogs! That'll give them a little more breathing room as they try to push this winning streak to five. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. The Kansas offense returns to the field. 
the last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to... And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. When I got a stud quarterback like, the, like they do, I'm going to protect him. I'm going to make sure that I keep him upright because he can do some serious damage. But this defense... He hurls one deep down the left side. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And the Jayhawks will punt this one away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Makes a move. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. DCU has it back in the Horn Frogs go on offense. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage before he was stopped, but using the running back in the short passing game gives him a first down. And the Horned Frogs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Fast motion from the offense. Quick pass on the jet motion. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the... Caught close to the marker, it's Cook. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. That is just a gut punch. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The receiver. That last incompletion leaves him with second and ten from the 23. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. right back to the air on second and ten this time he's got it that's the one danger defensively when you want to play zone coverage because you leave a lot of windows and pockets out on the field and if the offensive quarterback find one they could hurt you you saw it right there on the crossing wants to throw on third down caught near the sticks it's pain and the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving and that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. Touchdown, TCU! And the stomping has commenced. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense obviously just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. 
Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find it. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Fires to the right. And it's incomplete on third down. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football. Wide open. He makes the catch. Got a lot of running room. Touchdown, Kansas! And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. The result of this game is going to sting for sure, but you've got to continue to build, you've got to improve, and you can take some positives out of this late hustle and build for next week. There's always positives, and coaches are always looking for those things that we did well. What did we do well so we can do more of it in the future? Finding some things here late that they did well. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Boy, they have divided these home fans here by putting this game in a hammerlock, David. Yeah, this crowd's been jacked up. They've been excited. Now they get to breathe a little bit, Palmer. Nicely, this offense needs to go out and protect them. Yeah, they've been the more oh, physical oh, team oh, all oh, game oh. long. So let's just run the ball. Let's just ice this football game. Take the W into the locker room. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. All right, the offense it. lining up right. for a first down play. Check, check. Black Set. Quarterback Black reacting to what the D is showing. To the air, it's Hoover. He's going for a big play downfield. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. And how about this offense? They're, they're not worried about the clock. They're not worried about the score. They're not worried about early and down. Still trying to execute their offense. Still trying to make big plays. And they've had a great day so far. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Going back to the well, another deep ball. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. White 53. White 53. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Hard Rock! And the beatdown has ensued. They can now exhale just a little bit with that lead, and they are close to a victory here in the eighth week of the season. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Utah State put one in the win column in convincing fashion. The Aggies had zero issue moving the ball, and that defense held strong in key moments. Talk about a complete performance. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Soft spot in the middle. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. One play in this drive and already out to the 41. It's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Back open in the middle. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. If you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. 
Didn't really have room to operate on the return, but he hands him the ball at the 32. You have them pass rushers, bringing them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush. He uncorks one deep. Pass is incomplete. The clock is down to nine. And that's a good stop for this defense. And listen, there hasn't been a lot of positive today, but like, let's finish this game strong. I think that'll be the message from the defensive coordinator. Can we get a stop? Can, can we get them off the... F he tries to take the top off. Eight. And after this play, the cake will be baked. Quarterback checking the play. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And as the ball goes to the turf, the clock has hit zero. Just complete and utter dominance in this one. Outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team came ready to play, and man, it was pedal to the metal right from the opening kickoff. And that's how you like it. Forget the close games, forget the heartbreakers, the, oh, this play could decide, just frying pan meat face, ball game over. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.